Hey Divine Divos, it's me, Just Londa, and I picked up the Novena Volume 1 palette. 25 shades, and it's all the Venus beautiful colors, and I keep fiddling with it, trying to open it, and it's not hard to open, it's just me being silly with my nails. 25 shades. Um, I think this look came really together. I really like the looks that came out. I talk about the shadows, what problems I may or may not have, or if it was pigmented enough or not. Um, definitely, this is for someone who loves ABH, loves candles, and loves darker colors because the colors that's in the palette does not pull off the same as it is on my swatches. My swatches. So, yeah. I lost my train of thought just that quickly. I do talk about, like it's, it's really just like blah, 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 blah. So we're just gonna go ahead and grow that beautiful baked bean finish, Divas and Devos. All right, Divas and Devos, for the sake of the video, I've already done my brows. I've pretty much got um, Too Faced, born this way in warm sand i've also set it i've also got my backdrop on which it, which is my um powder from clinique and i don't even know what color it is anymore so i want to try to do two looks in this video so we'll see how it goes all right so the nervina so, oh, wow, this, this is such a big mirror. <laughs> if I was lower, it would work for me, but I'm not lower. So, um, so I want to do a day look first. I'm going to go in with color. Let me see. Oh, the way they feel the pigmentation. Wow. Okay, so these are all red browns. Okay. So I'm definitely going to start off with the color C5, and that's going to be on my crease. Look at that. And I don't dig in my palette. I just lightly tap to see what comes off. So we're going to start in my crease. Okay, so the pigmentation is definitely there. I mean, would you look at it? Look how it blended. Look how even I stamped the color on and it looked like it was going to be a cut crease. That even blended out really nicely into my backdrop. Oh yeah, she's making pancakes. I was like, what is that smell? That looks so good. It looks great, doesn't it? It looks, it looks really good. Right. Um, for the lid. That's dark. I thought that would have been lighter. Ooh, that's pretty too. Let's try this one call here too. So these colors are not as what they seem to me on my brown skin. And I have like a very neutral undertone. I perform to look yellow or neutral. Um, red is just not my thing when it comes to complexion because I can look really oopa loopa. So let's do this. I'm gonna take A4 and put that all over the lid. Oh, it is on there, I just couldn't see.
so it's giving me some time to try to pull this look together like a, in a corner stuff like that and once you see the swatches you'll see why okay so i'm gonna be a little daring and try to do a sandwich i guess because that's going to be the only way i can make that look really light so i'm gonna put c1 in the inner corner And then I'm going to go in with C2. That worked. Okay, so let's do the under eye, all right? Let me let me pull myself together and come back and then we'll do the under eye. All right, for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna keep it simple because it's the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take a blending brush and go back into C5 and just buff that out. Have it wrap around. Ooh, I should have dusted that off first. You know what, I'm going to go in with a little bit of black eyeliner or brown, whichever one pops up first. Coco by Vera Moore. So for bronzer, I'm going to use my Anastasia bronzer in mahogany. Just bronze up my face. Um, I do have a slight contour on, which is a cream contour. For contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia palette, um, blush palette, the darker one, and I'm just going to use the contour shade in the back. For lips, I'm going to go ahead and line my lip with Sephora Molasses. Gonna go in with YSL number 44. This is the I just know it's 44. Everything is rolling off. I got this when I was in England, so I'm not sure if they got these or not. This is not what I remember it being. Maybe I'm thinking of something else that I have. I don't think I have that many YSL products. I'm going to go over it with tin because that was more of a lip gloss. Yeah, it worked. And I will use Anastasia lip gloss on top of that. I should have taken off, but I didn't. And this one is in pearl. Oh, my lips feel really juicy. <laughs> Ooh, they look, and they look juicy too. Oh my goodness. They look scrump deliciousness. <laughs> I'm gonna go in my Anastasia palette and my, the and which one I'm gonna use. Going with Lara. Let 
So I'm going to go ahead and throw some lashes, mascara on, and I'll come back with the finished look. All right, divas and divos, this is the finished day look. So, what do I feel about the shadows so far? So good. I really like how they blend, how they felt when I was like swatching them. The pigmentation is really good. And when I was looking at the colors, the colors that I had chosen on my eye does not look exactly what I thought it would look like in the pink. Okay, so it comes off a little darker. So I can tell they they took the formula that they had from Jacqueline's palette. All right, Divas and Divos, look two. Do, do, do. So I want to play with these colors a little bit, but I, I want to do something wearable, but I want to play with the colors too. All right, let's start off. So of course I got everything all set. Everything is the same. Um, so I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to start off with B1. Pigmentation off the bat again. So I'm going to start this off right in here. So pigmented. I should have went in with a smaller brush than what I got. All right, so off the bat, it is pigmented. Um, I'm not having trouble, but because this brush, I should not have used this brush, but I really love this brush to use. So that's my issue, not the shadow. Um, I'm going to go in with D3. <laughs> I just don't want a lot on there. Again, that blended nicely. I know I didn't say what I was doing. Sorry about that. Um, it kind of looks almost the same. Like you can see a slight gradient. And clearly these colors are not the same at all. But on my skin tone, on my deeper complexion, this is how it's pulling. I'm going to go in with E5. I'm telling you, I'm barely digging in this and it's picking up like this.
Okay, so e5 pretty much took over everything. So everything, everything that I put down, it's now <laughs> it's gone. So the the B one, the light purple, the light fuchsia color, the the red that was in the back, it's all gone. I'm gonna go in with D5 and try to deepen this color. Um, yeah, like it took it over. So whatever gradient it looked like, it, you see it, it doesn't look like it anymore. Okay, that black is not picking up in the same way. So I just kind of, I dipped it once and it didn't really pick up and then I slid down and this is what I'm getting now. So, and that's not, that's a stain that you see that's red. It's not the shadow. I don't think these shadows layer together like they don't mesh together I think that they're so pigmented like a color will overtake another color so I don't know that could be a pro to some people that could be a con to some people but if you want this gradient effect and you want to see like a transition of different colors at least the two colors that I went in with which is a purple and a hot red you would think that once I put in a brown that that brown would not overtake it the way it has so the black the black is there um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna build it up slowly okay I'm going to go in with that same pencil that I have, the E5, and see if I can blend out the edges of the black. Are we seeing this? Let me do the other eye right quick. All right, so I'm struggling with this eye, or is, I think I'm more struggle with this eye. Like this eye looks way better than this eye, but my eyes are not the same size. I always tell people that. So, yeah. Um, and one of them is more hooded than the other. Let's go in with D2 and put that all over the lid. And I'm swiping that color Ooh. Yeah. like I see it on my eye but it looks like it's patchy but then <laughs> when I'm like looking down at it like I'm pulling my eyelid down it's there. So it's got to be the formula. Mm. You know what? Let's, let's spray some. Let's spray it. Let's see. <gasps> that 
was better. Oh, oh yeah, that works so much better. And if you also can tell, like, maybe because I'm not using too much, so to me, it feels like that black is not that strong. Like, it's not a black, black, black. You know what I'm saying? Like it might, it's not an off black. It's definitely not an off black. Like it doesn't have a gray undertone to it or anything like that. But it's, and it could be the way I'm picking it up. Um, because I don't want it to overtake the whole look. But yeah. I'm going to go in with A1. We're just going to put that in the center. Oh, that looks nice. So definitely going to spray it with some water. Well, not water, but I'm going to spray it. Okay, so that effect did not do the same thing. Almost like a little pacey. What? It looks a little pasty, right? All right, I'm going to do my whole face again and then come back. All right, so I went on ahead and did my face, um, lined my eye with Sephora, my boyfriend jeans. I really love Sephora's um, pencil liners. I'm going go with A2 and just... I mean, all of it just goes everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what the palette looks like. And keep in mind, I am slightly dipping my brush in it, okay? And for the inner corner, let's do B3. That really translated differently on the eye. Maybe because of what's already on the eye. Nope, there it is. Yeah, it looks like it now. So at first I was thinking that it was translating different on the inner corner than it was on my arm but um I think it has a lot to do with the shadow that's left in the, the inner corner it's blending with it and so it, um like it looks the same but it looks more purpley pur purple it looks more purple than pink and I think it has a lot to do with what's already on the eye all right, so I'm going to throw on some lashes and um, come back with the completed look. All right, divas and divos, this is the finished look. So I didn't mention on the first look, but the first look was foundation, luminous moisturizing treatment foundation from Bobbi Brown. And that's in the color Warm Almond 6.5. The foundation of choice is Fenty 20 in this look and then I kind of used the same um, Anastasia bronzer but for contour I still use the Anastasia um, granite all right so sorry about that my um, I believe that my SDR SD card was full and my battery needs to be changed I'm not quite sure about it all but anyway um, I think I left off about the blush, the bronzer. So I used, not the bronzer, the contour. So I used these two colors. These two colors here to contour my face. Um, for my lips, I used MAC Current Lip Liner. And then I put Snob on. And for lip gloss, I used the same color, which was pearl. 
So let, let, let's, let's get into some swatches, right? So that's A through A1 through A5. All right, so this row is B1 through B5. And if you look at it like the variations of the mats is, I know they're wonky, I'm sorry, but <coughs> <coughs> the variations of the mats, they, it's on my brown skin. It's not a variation of colors. Like these two colors look similar. These colors look similar. Even these look similar. I am so sorry. Like it just dawned on me that I swatched everything and not <laughs> and not see So this is what is this? C1 to C5. That white is really pigmented. That brown is pigmented. This is D1 through D5. So like I said on my darker skin, that black, it's it wasn't like a black black. So it's not that dark. It does have, it's like an off black. That yellow, that D1 barely showed up and that's layering it twice. Um, there we go. And E1 through E5. And the only color that's not really showing up is E3. E3 is not showing up much at all. So, here we go. And then this one actually looks like a dual chrome, but it could be a little bit of staining on my arm. I'm not really sure. So, in all in all, what do I think of these shadows? Marlena was right. This is definitely for someone who this this is more her like the other like the other palette like the Norvina palette because she likes purples. I love purples too, so that's why I bought it. Again with the variation. On my brown skin. My brown skin, okay? My brown skin. You can't. Like they're overpowering each other. They're not having like their own moment. You, you know what I'm saying? Like this was supposed to be B1 and. Oh. Or it might have been that hot pink. All I know is this was supposed to be D3, and D3 got overpowered by E5. Everything got over overpowered by E5. E5 was not playing any games with anyone. The black, it it blended, but it looks like a, a cut crease moment on the outer parts. And even though I like it, it's, you know, it's not bad. And it could be that um, I did wait for my lid to dry a little bit. I didn't pat it down dry. I let it dry down a little bit. And then I put my Too Faced and I set it. So maybe because I had already done a look and it's a little edgy sketchy. Yeah, it could be that. But all in all, this palette is for someone who loves pigmentation, loves the color purple, loves like red tones because these are more of a red tone color than anything. Um, I will also dare to say bring in another palette with it and for 60 bucks you don't want to do that but this is for someone who loves purple, loves deep colors as far as pigmentation you like pigmented like I really only had one problem with the D1 and E3 
as far as really showing up on my arm and you can tell that there is some staining on my arm so these I think these are pigments so I mean it's not bad I, this is nothing to cry home about it's like when I did the first look I didn't really see any staining on the eye so um, maybe this might have some staining on the eye I'm not sure Nah, it's, it's meh. It's, it really is a meh. Um, I was going to get the Jackie Aina palette because um, I swatched it then for yesterday. I was in Ulta because I had gotten a $15 off of 50 What? When I looked at it, it just seems like something's there. As far as like in my stash that I have, like I already have it, but I'm in love with the purples, so that's the only reason why I bought it. And the only reason why I then bought Lorena, the smaller palette, was because I just don't think it was gonna work my complexion. Now I do want to because I really don't have that palette, but like the Norbina palette, I have the dupe for it. I want to see if. I can make some things work with those two because I think those two probably would go hand in hand because of the colors. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to pick this up. And yeah, it, it was 60 bucks. So I like the way I like the way it feels. It has a reminiscence to the new Natasha Denona palettes, except it doesn't have anything on the back. So yeah, it's just. The mirror is quite healthy and I keep fiddling with it, trying to open it, but it's really not hard to open. Um, nice big mirror. So, it's nice. It's a nice palette, but you have to, oh, and what I was saying in here, and I meant to, I meant to reiterate that, the shadows are not what they seem, at least on my brown skin. Like they don't seem to be, not to say that they're not vibrant, they're darker. So they look light in the pan, but as you saw on my swatches, they're darker. I don't have a problem with that at all. Not at all. So yeah, Divas and Devos, I hope you enjoy my two looks. Um, please like, subscribe, comment below. Let's talk about it and yeah thanks for watching divas and divas peace and peace bye